Hello guys, hope all are doing good. Welcome to my channel. Like, share, subscribe and click on the bell icon for the latest notification of the upcoming videos. Do watch and comment for the videos. So we are into the topic of profit and loss and we are done with 5 sessions and this session we are going to see about dishonest dealer concept. Okay, complete concept we will try to cover in this session. Okay, so you will get a clear idea of how to solve questions related to dishonest shopkeeper. Okay, so we will see to it clearly into questions i'll just give you an idea of how these questions will be and how to solve it okay an outline i'll show you and then we'll go detailing through the questions okay so there are three types first type is reduced grams with no profit actually he earns profit okay but in an indirect way he shows customers that he doesn't uh, takes any profit but he actually takes how see for thousand grams he ha have to give thousand grams to a customer okay instead he gives only 900 grams and pretends to give thousand grams okay and he takes that hundred grams from that he earns a profit like this if he do for 10 customers he get thousand grams right that where he earns a profit okay so that is first type reduced grams with profit that is in second type he takes two profit that is uh, cost price will be something and selling price would be higher than the cost price in that case he will take profit and in another way is like he reduce the grams okay so two profits he get in second type and third type is reduced grams with loss that is he shows customer that he is taking a loss okay suppose 100 rupees he gets a material for 100 rupees and sells it to customer for 50 rupees okay he shows he is taking a loss of 50 rupees but actually he may take a profit through reducing the grams okay so that is the third type hope you understood now we will see its shortcut so we will get to know about it detail okay so i'll give you the best simplest method to solve this question using three boxes okay understand this concept very carefully so you can solve any kind of question using these three boxes okay the first upper box it indicates the actual weight say i'll give you an example i want one kg of onion okay so one kg so we'll express it in grams usually so thousand grams is going to be in my first upper box okay okay in the lower box left hand side what it indicates is what shopkeeper gives to us suppose thousand grams i'm asking and he gives us only 900 means that 900 we are going to write in the left side box and right side box what we are going to write is what shopkeeper claims to give that is we are we are asking for 1 kg and he gives only 900 but he says i'm giving 1 kg so that we will write it in right hand side box so i hope you understood now in terms of price how will we express the upper box is the actual weight if it is 1000 grams we will write 1000 there okay and left hand side cost price we will write and right hand side it is the selling price and the difference between cost price and selling price give you a profit or loss percentage okay so see cost price how will we write see these grams we will express it in rupees okay so we have to assume one gram is equal to one rupee suppose if it is thousand grams it is thousand rupees okay so what he claims uh, what he actually gives 900 grams right so 900 rupees we will write it in cost price box left hand side box and what he actually claims to give we will write it in the selling price okay see suppose i want thousand grams of something so it is 1 gram is equal to 1 rupees so 1000 gram is equal to 1000 rupees right so his selling price would also be 1000 rupees but what actually he gave and bought he bought only it for 900 so that will be in your cost price box hope you understood we'll see questions so we'll get a clear idea about it okay told you right three types so we'll see in detail about it reduce the grams with no profit in this case how the boxes will be in upper box we'll write the actual weight left hand side cost price right hand side selling price in this case how the question will be you know 
cost price will equal to selling price because no profit okay so only the grams are reduced and there is no profit so your cost price will be equal to selling price so in that case what you will do is actual weight what value get just write the same value in selling price okay in second case see reduced grams with profit in this case what you will do see reduced grams also you will write it in cost price and selling price what you will do profit percentage you will get right they will give you in your question 10 percentage profit or 20 percentage profit in that case what you will do add that 20 percentage profit to your actual weight and write it in your selling price okay third type will be reduced grams with loss it, it is quite similar to the previous one instead of profit here loss so you have to subtract it from the actual weight okay so that is what your selling price will be now we will see the questions okay I'll give you one more tip through our question itself we can find which type it is out of three okay see the first question a dishonest shopkeeper sells goods at cost price but uses a weight of 900 grams for a kg find his gain percentage this is first type how will we find that there is no profit percentage here okay they haven't given any profit percentage or loss percentage instead they told a key point at cost price okay which means he doesn't take any extra profit in that only he takes profit using the reduction of grams okay okay now how will we write see actual weight is equal to one kilo right because uh, he take he gives only 900 grams instead of one kg is given in question so thousand we'll write it in actual box okay and left hand side box it is 900 grams because what shopkeeper actually gives us okay that is what written in left hand side box and what he actually claims to give is written in the right hand side box so he claims to give one kilo which is thousand grams so just write it down as such okay so now gain percentage we'll have to find see we know cost price and selling price right so it's difference give you a profit so 1000 minus 900 is 100 100 by cp cp is 900 into 100 when you cancel it out you get 11.11 percent one one percentage hope you understood next question a dishonest shopkeeper sells goods at cost price okay but uses x grams instead of a kg weight thus he gains 25 percentage of profit find the value of x so any value they can ask okay not only profit percentage instead they can ask your cost price or selling price or the difference whatever they can ask you form the same table using the same table you can answer the question okay first is kg weight okay actual weight you write it down which is thousand grams okay but uses x grams okay he, he gives at cost price so write it here as cost price equal to selling price so there is no change write the same in your selling price so thousand you have written now you have to find cost price so they have given as x grams they haven't given our value so write there as x okay they have given one more value as profit percentage is 25 percentage so overall profit percentage is 25 percentage now you know selling price and profit percentage you know to find cost price right so you can do that see 100 plus 25 which is 125 percentage is equal to selling price that is 125 is selling price equated to the value 1000 so for cost price 100 is equal to how much when you cancel it out finally you get the value as x is equal to 800 okay hope you understood question a dishonest dealer professes to sell his goods at cost price but uses a weight of 960 grams instead of a kg weight find the gain of this dishonest person in percent okay okay which type it is it is first type because they have given at at cost price okay now kg weight it is thousand instead he gives 960 only okay so 960 should be in the cost to price box and again same thousand should be in your selling price box now the difference is 40 now find the profit percentage you get it as 4.1666 percentage which is option b so try to find it by yourself okay next question a shopkeeper sells rice at rupees 20 per kg that 
he purchased in 16 rupees per kg and he is giving only 800 grams of rice instead of 1 kg while selling find the actual percentage profit of the shopkeeper which type it is it is of type 2 that is reduction in your grams and also increase in your profit okay how i am saying it is see he bought it for 16 rupees and it, he is selling it for 20 rupees so already he takes a profit in it 4 rupees profit right next see he gives 800 grams instead of 1 kg so second profit in grams also he takes so it is of type 2 okay how will we solve this so 1000 grams he should give so that will be in return in your actual weight okay in previous what we did selling price we will take the same actual weight and write it in selling price but here we will have to find the extra thing because he takes a profit percentage okay so first to find profit percentage how will we find profit percentage for it see 20 minus 16 4 rupees he takes profit okay so 4 by cost price which is 16 into 100 you get it as 25 percentage profit so write it down there 25 percentage profit okay now 25 percentage of 1000 is nothing but 250 right so add that and write it in your selling price so Thousand plus two fifty, which is thousand two fifty, is your selling price. Now cost price is nothing but he gave only eight hundred grams, so eight hundred. Now find the difference between the cost price and selling price. You get it as four fifty, which is your profit. So profit percentage is four fifty by cost price eight hundred into hundred. You get the answer as fifty six. Four by sixteen percentage. Hope you understood. Next question: A dishonest dealer decides to sell his goods at thirty percentage profit. Okay, but uses x gram instead of a kg weight. Thus, he gains forty four point four four percentage overall profit. Find the value of x. So, actual weight is. They have mentioned it in gram. Okay, so you write it as. Thousand grams. Okay. Suppose if they haven't mentioned any gram in your question and all are given in your percentages, means you'll take it as hundred percentage. That I'll explain in you in upcoming questions. Okay. So let us see here. Uh, see, x gram he gives. Okay, he uses. Okay. So your cost price would be x. Okay, and actual weight is thousand. Now they have given profit percentage is thirty, so obviously it is a second time. So plus thirty percentage profit. So thirty percentage of thousand is nothing but three hundred. So on adding you get the selling price as thousand three hundred. Okay. Now they have given the overall profit percentage as forty four point four four percentage. So you know profit percentage and selling price. Now it is easy to calculate your cost price. So. See profit percentage here it is given in decimal so convert it into fraction that will be the easiest way. So when you convert into fraction it is nothing but four by nine right forty four point four four. It is of eleven tables so I told you when converting it it will be the base denominator will be nine. It is of four times so four by nine okay. Where four represents the profit and nine represents the cost price. So when you add cost price and profit, you get it as thirteen, which is equal to your selling price thousand three hundred. So we'll have to find our cost price, right? Cost price is nine. So nine is equal to how much? See, direct relation can form thirteen into hundred is thousand three hundred. Similarly, nine into hundred is nine hundred. So x value is nine hundred. Hope you understood. Next question. Uh, I will just explain you the concept. You try to uh, solve it by yourself. Okay. There is a dishonest shopkeeper who claimed to sell a certain product at a cost of twenty three kg, which actually costs him twenty five kg. Okay, twenty five per kg. The shopkeeper says that he is taking a loss to his, let his customers get a better deal. When examined thoroughly, a policeman finds that the shopkeeper is actually using a eight hundred grams weight in place of one kg weight. Does he gain or lose? so this is of third type okay i'll tell you try it by to solve by yourself see actually the cost price is 25 and he sells it for 23 me it seems so 2 rupees he claims that he loses 2 rupees while selling okay so loss percentage first you find okay next see 
when policeman uh, examined he found for 1 kg he gives only 800 grams so you get your actual weight and your cost price actual weight is 1000 and cost price is 800 grams okay and now last percentage we'll have to find see loss is 2 rupees okay he says he loses 2 rupees so last percentage is 2 out of 25 because cost price is 25 into 100 you'll find the loss percentage as 8 percentage okay so from 1000 you take 8 percentage of loss and subtract and get the selling price now finally see the cost price and selling price it is actually a profit value you get so they are asking how many percentage whether he gains or lose so try to find and find the answer as 15 percentage profit try to solve it by yourself okay next question a grocer sells rice at a profit of 10 percentage and uses weights which are 20 percentage less than the market weight okay the total gain earned by him will be try to solve it by yourself i'll just give you an idea see so in this question there is no gram value okay so better you take it as 100 actual weight as 100 even 1000 you can use but it is easy to calculate for 100 so i'll take it as 100 okay actual weight is 100 now cost price how will we get see how many percentage less weight he use 20 percentage less than the market weight so from 100 20 percentage of 100 is nothing but 20 so when you subtract you get your cost price as 80 okay but he gains a profit of 10 percentage okay so 10 percentage of 100 what your selling price will be 10 percentage of 100 is 10 so 100 plus 10 110 so see you have got your actual weight cost price selling price now find the total gain earned okay try it by yourself you will get the answer as 37.5 percentage next question a dishonest dealer sells goods at 30 percentage of profit but uses only 800 grams in the place of a kilogram weight what is his real gain percentage here it is given in grams so take as thousand grams as actual weight okay now cost of price is only 800 grams and it is sells goods at 30 percentage profit so 30 percentage of 1000 would be 300 so on total it is 1300 now find the profit percentage okay next question a seller uses 840 grams in place of 1 kg so your cost price and your actual weight you have got to sell his goods find his actual profit or loss percentage when he sells his article on 4 percentage loss this is of third type because they have given it as 4 percentage loss so 4 percentage loss you will have to find it for 1000 which is uh, 40 so when you subtract it from 1000 your selling price would be 960 now find whether it is profit or loss okay and find the profit or loss percentage next question a shopkeeper sells the goods at 44 percentage loss on cost price but uses 30 percentage less weight what is his percentage profit or loss see uh, listen every time it need not be profit okay i told you it is his chance to take profit but at times it may lead to loss also so don't get confused that it is always profit right so you won't get the answer in loss okay so you may also get answer in loss okay see here 100 will take because nothing is given in grams so 100 is your actual weight he loses 44 percentage on cost price okay so minus 44 percentage loss will give you a selling price okay and he uses 30 percentage less weight so from 100 30 percentage means it is 30 rupees so 100 minus 30 which is 70 is your cost to price now find whether it is profit or loss percentage in this case you get a loss percentage because your cost price is 70 and your selling price is 56 okay finally you get the answer as 20 percentage loss try it by yourself see next question a dishonest dealer sells his goods at 37.5 percentage loss but he uses 15 grams instead of 32 grams find his gain percentage see uh, always you need not take it as thousand okay it, for uh, if your values are like 800 700 in that case you take it as thousand here instead of 32 grams they have said so your actual weight is 32 he gives only 15 so your cost price would be 15 and 37.5 percentage is 
his loss so your selling price would be after it so 37.5 percentage of 32 you will have to find 37.5 percentage is nothing but 3 by 8 equivalent fraction we know it is 3 by 8 so 3 by 8 of 32 is nothing but 12 okay when you subtract it from 32 get it as 20 so you got your cost price selling price and actual weight so find the profit percentage okay Next question, a dishonest dealer sells his goods at 30 percentage loss but he uses x percentage less weight. He gains 16.66 percentage profit, find x percentage. Okay, so there is no grams, we will first take as actual weight as 100 grams. Now they have given us 30 percentage loss. Okay, so now using that you can find your selling price, right? So 30 percentage loss on 100 is nothing but finally you get it as 70, okay? but he uses x percentage less weight okay so you don't know your cost price he gained 16.66 percentage profit that is overall profit they have given don't confuse it with the previous profit or loss okay so overall profit is 16.66 percentage now you know your selling price and your profit percentage now you can calculate your cost price listen to the question very carefully it is not our question is not finding cost price but x percentage if it is x we will find cost price and that is our answer but it is x percentage that is from actual weight how much percentage it have reduced okay cost price have reduced that is our question so in this question from 100 60 we have taken a hundred as value so you will get the direct answer as 40 percentage suppose if it is some other number okay instead of 100 previously we saw right 32 grams in that case what you'll have to do keep that as base that is denominator and the difference between actual weight and the cost price as your numerator into 100 so you'll get the value okay so here it is 40 percentage the last and the final question see these are some tricky type of questions we will discuss that see a fair price shopkeeper takes 10 percentage profit on his goods okay he lost 20 percentage goods during theft his loss percentage is so at times we will go wrong 10 percentage profit 20 percentage um, goods less but listen to the question carefully okay see 10 percentage profit he takes on his goods okay he lost 20 percentage goods during theft so actually 100 is your actual weight okay he gets it for 100 rupees right cost price should be also 100 rupees because think he gets for 100 rupees okay here he did not uh, cheat anything instead there is a theft okay so he lost 20 percentage goods so the remaining would be only 80 percentage of goods right see 100 percentage goods is there he lost 20 percentage goods means 20 percentage of 100 is nothing but 20 so finally his, uh, the number of goods in his hand is only 80 goods okay in that only he can take profit right so your cost price would be 100 because he got 100 goods but he is left to only 80 goods okay now calculate 10 percentage profit for that amount of goods left with him so 10 percentage of 80 only not 10 percentage of 100 listen to the question carefully so 10 percentage of 80 is nothing but 8 rupees so 8 plus 80 is 88 so your selling price would be 88 so here this last percentage you will have to find okay so hope you understood so read the question carefully practice more questions definitely you can crack these questions very easily so thank you for watching with this video do watch other videos so thank you so much